A new Israeli airstrike on the Gaza Strip has killed at least two people. The Gaza Health Ministry said two men were in a vehicle in the city of Khan Yunis when it was struck. Israel's military said the strike targeted an Islamic Jihad cell that was planning an attack on Israel. The latest strike came as funerals were held for three senior commanders of the Islamic Jihad militant group in Gaza. They were killed along with at least 10 civilians in a series of pre-dawn air raids. Israel's military said its airstrikes targeted Islamic Jihad, which had been designated a terrorist organization by the EU. And our correspondent Rebecca Ritters is in Jerusalem with the latest. Rebecca, Islamic Jihad and Hamas have vowed to respond. What do we know about Israel's reaction to this? Well, Israel is very much bracing for a response. We saw Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister and Defence Minister Yoav Gallant, come out this evening uh, saying that they were preparing on all fronts for a response, that whatever response came will be met with crushing force, were the words they used. Uh, they said also that they're prepared for responses that will come not only potentially from the Gaza Strip, but also on other fronts, uh, and that, that of course, this, these uh, retaliations will be met with force. Now, uh, these pre-dawn attacks or the pre-dawn attack by Israel into the Gaza Strip uh, that happened in the early hours of this morning did come as a surprise to people here, but it was carefully planned by the IDF, them saying this week that it was in response to a barrage of rockets that came from the Gaza Strip a week ago. Uh, this was a carefully planned attack, and they were even, as they planned this attack, then preparing for retaliations. Exactly now, how that will look, what that will look like, rather, remains to be seen. And, of course, the big question, of course, is whether Hamas will be, be involved, because that will escalate things uh, and, and then see a bigger then counteroffensive from Israel as well. What are you hearing from people inside Gaza? Well, unfortunately, uh, this is not the first time people in Gaza are used to uh, these kind of events, these kind of attacks happening and, of course, are all bracing to see what will happen, what retaliation will come from within Gaza and then, of course, uh, the return fire from Israel. So people there, I did speak to some people there. They were out and about today, but schools were closed, banks, a lot of shops as well. People in Gaza don't really have anywhere to go uh, when the bombs are falling. There are no bomb shelters there. So it is a very, very dangerous situation for all civilians there. We did see some collateral damage. Uh, some civilians were killed in those pre-dawn attacks this morning. So, of course, everyone bracing to see what will happen. And sadly, a lot of the people in Gaza will be mostly affected. Everybody bracing to see what happens. Is there any hope for de-escalation at this point? Of course, there is always a time for talks for de-escalation and there will be the usual players uh, having these behind-the-scenes talks. Uh, the UN, of course, uh, definitely going to be talking to all relevant parties, but it's almost too early for these de-escalation talks and it almost seems impossible or unfathomable, really, that we won't see retaliation and then counter-retaliation. So talks of de-escalation certainly uh, will be on the agenda, Nicole, but I think it is a little bit early for those to be happy at the moment, at least successfully. The UN Security Council has convened a special meeting, an emergency meeting tomorrow to discuss the new escalation here in Gaza, but there is no resolution expected from that meeting tomorrow. Rebecca Ritters in Jerusalem, thank you so much.